Yo, I've had the iPhone 13 Pro Max for one year. Today is Christmas 2022. I've had this since 2022 Christmas. Um, after one year, this is what I really feel about. In 365 days of owning this, this has ran out of battery just two times. Once because I was doing a power test and the other time it ran out, I really needed to charge, but it, there was no charger near me. So you can imagine it, that's a great thing to have. The battery life is much better. People who get the 14 Pro Max are complaining that the 13 Pro Max had a better life. So if you're in the market for a used cell phone right now, 13 Pro Max is an amazing option. Despite the new iOS updates, the battery life has held its own. I used to never keep the Bluetooth on always on my phone. I used to never keep the location services on on my phone with the 11 Pro Max. But now with this battery, champion this is an this is the heaven of this is a battery god of the world i feel um second thing i want to talk about is the design it looks very easy to hold and you can use it one-handed but this tends to hit my pinky finger the small finger so i don't like to do that i always like to carry a speaking case i like this case even though it's as heavy as a dumbbell but we got them biceps you know this case is good because you can actually it has a kickstand feature so I can make the phone stand like this, you know. So that's good if you're on the move, you want to read something, you're on a flight. You could always figure out a way to use the kickstand maybe on the flight desk and I'll throw the link for the speak in case. Um, how camera has been a bit of a hit or miss for me because I felt from a video perspective I thought the camera was a bit lacking. I really can't do vlogging with it. I'm using a Sony um, ZV-1 right now as my um, mostly the camera I use but is this camera really that good for videos it's an 8 on 10 which is very good but it's not perfect I was expecting a better upgrade with the 13 Pro Max but still cinematic view you have a bunch of options there's some way or the other you can you know maneuver a very good video if you're just starting out on YouTube can you get this phone to record your videos hell yes if you're getting started on YouTube you can get a 13 Pro Max is there a difference between the 13 camera and the 13 Pro Max? Yes, there's a huge difference because the LiDAR and the sensor and the capabilities of the entire phone is much better. Also, the multimedia playback on this phone is sensational. It is so loud. It is so loud. I, I can't believe how loud the speaker is even after one year. Else. Anything else? What happened? Tim? And how's he doing now? Well, since that particular time, we've had a merry old chase going up along in exchange for a sugary food reward. But this new research has found that over multiple tests, the bees enjoyed rolling wooden balls through a specially designed arena, even though there was no apparent incentive. It is so loud for audiobooks, for podcasts, for even music playback. This is very loud. Like I'll play a little sample, um, you know, so that you can get an idea of how, how good it is. Um, let's play this. That's full volume. Full volume is almost hostile. 80% is good enough. So great multimedia, a great, fantastic display, which scratches very easily. I mean, the display of this is super. I, I feel like watching things on this all the time. The battery, the brightness is so bright that I never keep it this bright, which is an amazing compliment. So the display is a 10, the sound playback is a 10, the battery life is a 10. Um, the build quality is a bit of a seven on 10 because I don't like using it without the case. And this is a glass back, so you don't wanna do that. 1,20,000, 1,30,000, I have the 256 GB variant. I think it is, if you can afford it, at the end of the day, something a lot of tech reviewers don't talk about is affordability. Can you really afford to spend 1,30,000 rupees on an iPhone 13 Pro Max? You have to ask yourself that question. Will it add something to your life? Will it take away from your life? In my case, I think it is worth it. But is it worth it for the general specific who can just go? But is it worth it for those people who want to get a Google Pixel 7 at like less than half the price? I think you should probably go with a Google Pixel 7, a Google Pixel 6a. You could also go, this is an older phone which I also have, which I've been carrying around. This is an iPhone 10 256 GB from 2018. Still works like a dream. There's not that much difference. iPhones last forever. I intend to use this phone for three years. 
please pray for me because I am such a finicky minded person. I'm likely to change it. If I was to go and sell this today, it would sell for a good 70,000 to 80,000 rupees. Um, the battery life has deteriorated to 89%, but that's okay. Because even if it's at 80%, I think the battery is so good. Besides that, I use uh, the original Apple 61 watt charger and it usually charges from 30% to 80% in like 40 minutes. If it's at 20, if it's at 15%, it'll charge to 70% in maybe 30, 40 minutes. I'm okay with that. Please bear in mind that if you have a 20 watt adapter or a 30 watt adapter or a 60 watt adapter, the difference is very less. The lower the battery you have, the faster it tends to charge. So if you're charging from 5% to 20%, it'll probably take five minutes. So Apple is again incredible. I never want to use this on the low power mood. Uh, something I hate about this phone is Apple is taking a lot of money out of me. Apple Music is terrible. I don't think why I should pay that much for the subscription. I don't like the fact that the iCloud has to be used. Um, they have to have give me more memory. For the price I'm paying, I should probably get one TB. You heard me right. For one lakh thirty thousand Apple, you should give me one TB, and you should make no exceptions to that. Granted, it will cause certain da da da, but it's cool, man. I don't mind the fact that they don't have an, uh, a port. You know, the AirPods are a luxury to use, amazing item. If you even have an older iPhone, you can really do well with this. But please keep in mind only the newer 10th, 11th generation ones have the M1 A1 chip. I don't know what you call it. Um, like this one does. So when I connect it, it shows me what percentage is remaining. The iPhone is an experience. If you've never had an iPhone, I think right now is the best time to get it. If you have a budget of 50,000 rupees, should you get the iPhone 12? Yes, you should. 50,000 bucks, the iPhone 12, I'm gonna put it in the description. It's a beautiful phone, a bit more compact version of this with lesser battery life, but the camera is outstanding in most light circumstances. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I love you. Sometimes. Peace.